for me, you don't need a college. You don't need to attend university to actually to just to learn this stuff. So then I think there are a couple things right now in, in geospatial education. The first one I think would be um, kind of moving away from desktop GS to cloud-based uh, geospatial workflows. And um, I mean, especially after the pandemic, right? Um, we moving from in-classroom teaching to a lot of online teachings. And so during the time we have looked of other, I mean, some of the cloud computing platform, for example, Google Exchanging and the previous uh, uh, Microsoft printed computer, AWS, Google uh, Cloud. So there are a lot of these kind of cloud computing program become more and more available and also producing a lot of these kind of geospatial data that people can utilize. And you can certainly see that more and more universities right now are kind of also teaching beyond just the traditional desktop GIS, QGIS, ArcGIS, we also teach cloud computing skills. For example, Google Sending is one of those popular tools being taught uh, in, 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 in classroom. So this one, so I always um, kind of give this analogy in the classroom, um, like why do we want to be use, um, I mean, moving from the desktop to cloud is kind of like a decade ago, we are buying the DVD, trying to have a decent computer to be able to watch a Blu-ray or something. But now nobody is really buying those DVD anymore. You're all streaming, uh, doing the uh, streaming, uh, using streaming services, YouTube, Netflix, by trying to watch a movie. I think the trend is similar, very much similar in the geospatial. So we're trying, we produce a lot of amount of data, and but we don't. Not everyone has the resources to handle those large amount of data. So we certainly need some cloud computing uh, resources. So there's, I mean, the second one is like more open access data and also cloud computing resources. And um, the third one is like open geospatial education. So something that I'm really passionate about is to teach people how to utilize these cloud computing resources and open source to do some interesting applications so that you don't really need a, a college degree to do this stuff. If you really have some time and then you have patience, just watch some videos, just like your videos and uh, a lot of other videos, for example, uh, UJava or Spatial Source also have a lot of like open ed um, education materials available, so anyone can learn. So um, I, I, my goal is to make people more aware of the geospatial technology, and they can use those to uh, make the world a better place. Because you can, and when something happens, right, we everyone can do something rather than rely on big techs to wait for them to example to detect the damage building or something like that right if we all have the skills we everyone can contribute just like at the end you everyone can contribute to open stream right